It was a full day of events leading up to a public meeting for the potential expansion of an Enbridge oil pipeline. Protesters and supporters came to the meeting to hear about the findings of an environmental review that could determine if the expansion moves forward. Joining me in studio tonight live is Mel Meyer, who has more details on today's events. Mel? Thank you, Dennis. The issue to allow Enbridge to increase the daily flow of oil through the existing Alberta Clipper pipeline has been a highly contested issue. Various speakers on both sides of the issue discussed their views throughout the day. The day started with a press conference for the organization Minnesotans for Jobs. Beltrami County Commissioner Jim Lukacic said he was in support for the economic benefits through tax revenue and for safety. From all of the research that I've done and using my own brain, uh, the best way to transport petroleum products is in liquid pipelines. Later on at the Rail River Folk School, expansion opponents gathered to hear from area groups about alternative energies and what some of the environmental risks are from pipeline leaks. The risks are enormous. So these are moments of opportunity that in about 10 years where I truly believe we can protect some of the most precious resources that we have in this country. The groups argue that instead of increasing the production and our dependence on oil, companies like Enbridge and the general public should invest further in green energy. Example of civil disobedience is to literally deploy solar on your own home, on your own business, and reduce your consumption. Despite the weather conditions, many protesters then marched to the Sanford Center carrying signs of their message. Once through the heavy security at the meeting held by the U.S. State Department, the public was able to hear from experts about the different sections of the nearly 750 page environmental review draft. I'm just trying to find out all the areas that they talk about in this environmental impact statement. Some were concerned on the impact on area water sources. Those extra barrels of oil coming through there, it's just more risk of a bigger and larger spill if there's a catastrophic failure of the line. Greg Larson is helping submit 2,000 postcards of support at the meeting. It sustains a, a large portion of our community, so I'm in favor of it. Enbridge hopes that the department will issue the presidential permit for the expansion to help meet energy needs. The presidential permit for this border segment of Line 67 is in the public's best interest because it helps move um, North America towards um, energy security. While this is the only public meeting, the comments can be submitted online and in the mail through March 27th. Dennis. All right, thank you very much, Mel, for that live report tonight. Once those comments are submitted and the Supplemental Environmental Impact Statement is revised, the State Department will make a decision on the project, possibly by the end of this year.